Hello gamers, and welcome back to another part of the prison tutorial. I have some important information, so do not skip the intro. First of all, here's all the new members on the screen since the last upload a while ago. I want to say two quick announcements. First of all, join my Discord if you're not already in the Discord. It's very important that you join. I talk there all the time. You probably get a chance to talk to me, and I give lots of lots of updates and pictures of what I'm building, what I'm doing. Also, I want to say that some juicy stuff is, is cooking up. I'm, I have some good ideas. I've started working on some special projects behind the scenes, and you are going to get to see that this summer. So, stay tuned, and it's going to be epic. Alright, we are going to start going hyperspeed. In this episode, we plan to finish all of the rooms, including the, the room in the nether where it links the two portals. So, we'll do the rest of the guard tunnels all the way through all of this. And uh, we're going to start some redstone. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. But we're going to start uh, where we left off in the last part. Okay, so we had this story right here in the center of the room. Past this, we are going to add 13, no, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Make this three blocks wide and then add walls that are two blocks tall on either side. Okay, let's go ahead and fill in our ceiling and we have some uh, lamps to put in. All right, the lamps in this hallway, the first one of the tunnel, I'm doing it from the top, you can do it inside. Skip three and skip three again and there are just three like that. So now we're going to get out some stairs. Let's go ahead and break out this row and this row so we want uh and this row so break out three rows and then do it upside down stairs right here and bring it up because we actually get raised up a block here so on this let's go up one two and then curve this one in the corner and break out these two and then we can extend a uh, two by four right here and then let's go ahead and curve our wall around this so it just sort of turns and goes up and we can fill in our ceiling right here and this is our new tunnel which will go this way okay so from this block we are going to add 26 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 and now we're going to go ahead and bring it out three blocks wide again two blocks on the walls and uh our ceiling up here so the room is only two blocks tall okay before we get back over here let's go to this intersection and where we have the turn there are three redstone lamps just like this and we can power them okay so at the end of this tunnel let's go ahead and break out the walls in the top but leave the floor and now we're going to extend out one two three on either side and we want this to be a total of 17 so this is already one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen and we are going to fill in this entire floor with polished now facing towards the front side of the prison let's go ahead and just add an extra row on this side it will make it easier in a second all right we're gonna go wall by wall so let's start with the tunnel side so in the corner up here we're gonna go a total of 15 so that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 like that and make this entire wall 15 leaving your hallway in the middle okay our next wall over here we are just going to fill in the entire wall uh for now with the uh, polished and now we're gonna leave from the bottom seven four five six seven and then break out three and this should be in the middle yep looks like it uh and actually this we're gonna replace that with um the red blocks of redstone not blocks of redstone what am i talking about the redstone lamps like that okay uh also some detail we can put a quartz stair going into the side wrap around wrap around and go to the side just like that and we can wrap around one here two right there and let's do a quartz pillar all the way up so the same height and then do a row of quartz stairs right there all right looking good we also need a lever to turn on and off our alarm right there all right let's make our back wall or the other side wall look exactly like this and it will also have a hallway door right here in the middle or is that right there so we can leave a hole and fill this whole wall in okay let's do our stairs on the other side uh, like we did and then over here we'll do like three and then a quartz pillar going all the way up that it goes into and on the top a row right here but it does not go this way it just goes there and there okay this wall is a bit more tricky so down here we're gonna do um let's see we're gonna do a polished skip and a polished pillar polished skip and do the same thing and skip do the same thing one more time and one more polished like that and let's raise these all the way up to the same uh 15 height so i'll stack that at 14 there we go uh okay we can do an inner chest three inner chests in the front of all of these and then a stair there and there on uh, either side of all of these inner chests and then another polished one connecting into the wall like that and then we need that one to curve there we go uh so let's see put that one into the wall and make that a corner okay cool 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 now, uh, in all of these little gaps we have, let's we're going to go back in one, but leave two blocks here for the doorways, and then fill it up uh, back here, and do that for all of these. Okay, that's looking good, and the absolute last detail for this 
uh, room, we are just going to slap on a polished black stone ceiling. And that is this room all done. Okay, while we're here, we're going to go back and we need to actually uh, add more hallways. So one block away in this hallway, um, we're going to add a redstone lamp. And let me put my redstone block before I forget. Uh, okay, so we need to leave two blocks here and then we're going to break out three right here. Now starting, this is one right here and we need to go back 12 in total. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Make it three blocks wide and uh, your same hallway. We're just going to put the two blocks on either side and... Uh, the ceiling so do that all the way until you hit the back all right so that is extended there are some lights in here so in the first block of the hallway then we're going to skip four and then skip five which should put you at the very end of the hallway let's go ahead and put our lights up here all right so we have a bubble elevator going up right here so uh let's put a slab here and then a soul sand uh surround all of this and now what we need to do right here we're going to stack up 12 so, uh, on top of this box this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right and now we're just going to wrap this whole tunnel all the way around up 12 and then on top of this redstone block so in the tunnel that redstone block is actually exposed you can see it so bring this all up 12 okay so in here let's go ahead and waterlog that slab down there and let's place 12 signs going up on the uh, when you're looking into the tunnel on the left side uh, so you should have 12 signs if you want to double check let's put our water here and then we need to get our kelp of course to waterlog all of this so it should go all the way up all right break that out so there we go that is all working okay so when you get up here look at the block in front of the water and we want this to go this direction uh for 23 so we have one two three and we are going to make this whole thing three blocks wide in total okay let's go ahead and put in some walls there are only two blocks tall all the way around here uh and we can also put in the ceiling which is also polished so we'll just have a long long empty room in here in a second so just go ahead and like close in all of this space all right let's go ahead and lay out all of our guard respawn stations so we're going to skip five i think that was five yeah and then let's put three packed ice in the floor skip four three more skip four three more skip four and three more you should be one block away if your room is 23 blocks long okay so we're going to do this at all four spots but we're just going to do it once and you can do it the rest of them we're going to break this out and add another ice back here and let's make a two by two back here of the polished and now what we want we want a polished up here and one back here and surround that so you need this shape basically and we need the bed back here and actually wait that was one block too far uh, my bad uh, okay, good, and then we can stack up. We can actually replace this block and this block with obsidian. Uh, let's go ahead and put one right there as well. And now put obsidian on top of all of this, except this one is actually a uh, sticky piston uh, with a slime block right here. And we want a repeater going into it on full delay. And then our polished blackstone pressure plate, so whenever you respawn, you're forced to spawn here, and that punches you, which is exactly what we want. All right, and then we can just cover the rest of that with obsidian so you don't see anything uh there we go so i think that is all you need okay so let's do that on all four spots i'll be right back okay i went ahead and put them all in so on the first one left side it says warden on the top block uh capitalized or top top line whatever uh ant on the left side capitalized third one on the right side top sign bad boy halo like that and the fourth one uh hasn't been taken by anyone so it still looks like that last thing we need to add is a piece of glowstone in front of all of these for the lighting in this room one of the few spots with glowstone actually okay uh we're not going to do the redstone for the uh the actual like armor equipment today but we're gonna let's just go ahead and build the tunnels for them while we're here so we're gonna break out in front of the ice and we need one up here and around around it like that and surround it and then go one block farther down and now on these three sides not facing where we have the quartz pillars we're just going to do dispensers like that all facing into the tunnel and one on the top block and let's go out here and place our observers the face is on the inside of our tunnel here okay and then we're gonna do two blocks of polished and let's do the exact same thing down here so dispensers all the way around and then obviously there's a sticky piston in the middle there but we will uh, install that when we do the actual redstone oh, flip it like that Okay, so now uh, where we have this doorway, it should line up perfectly, and we are going to drag it out until we are in front of this. Perfect, and now let's bring our walls down like that, uh, leaving obviously a space to walk. Okay, and then we're just going to build the tunnel out of polished blackstone and connect these two spots like that. Very simple, uh, and as you go, they get like misaligned and you have to like do some weird stuff we'll do in a second. 
And at the end of the tunnel where you fall down, we're going to put a shroom light down here at the bottom, put a pressure plate and water so you just fall into the water and you run out. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and build build the tunnels all the way down in all of these spots, and then we'll do the little hallway that connects them together. Okay, so I went and brought all the tunnels down, and I did the up until where you have the water. So in front of all of the pressure plates, we're going to add five more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And now on this first one, you're going to have to go over one and in one. Then you're going to have to, this one you have to go two over, and this one you have to go three over like that so that's how these hallways sort of connect a little bit odd and now all you have to do is just make a uh two by one tall tunnel that just connects all of these like that there you go that is the basics of the armor equipping rooms all done and we'll obviously get around to doing all that redstone at a uh, later point when we come back and do all the redstone all right so we're gonna go um, let's go this direction. We'll come back to this at the end. So, this is the moment of truth. So, starting with this row, this is 1, and we want this to go a total of 20. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we are going to make this uh, 3 blocks wide here. Now, I said this is the moment of truth because this right here, this corner, should line up exactly. Okay, perfect. It should line up with the hole we broke out for the, the sanctuary. Uh, so we're gonna bring these three down until they hit the sanctuary, which is like, if I remember, it's like 80-something. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, sweet. So let's go ahead and build up our uh, walls and ceiling, and we'll add in our lights uh, in a second. So go ahead and bring this all the way until you hit that. Okay, sweet. We have one really, really long tunnel. So let's go ahead and start adding in uh, some lights. I'm gonna do it from the top to make it easier. So this little short one, starting from the right, we're gonna go one, skip one, one, skip two another one skip three skip three and skip three i have no idea why it's such a weird pattern there and this one is easy we are just going to continue to skip three all the way down until we hit the other side naturally okay that is all the lights done in this entire tunnel so we're going to go down to the bottom because you best believe there are still more guard tunnels to go so uh looking at the sanctuary on the right wall from this big hallway we're going to count 13 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and on the 14th one break this out right here right and we are going to extend it one more like this and uh like that okay so where we have this bubble elevator there uh before i forget there is a redstone lamp up here because in previous parts i kept forgetting redstone lamps and i'm going to go back for them so there we go okay uh there are a supposed to be 11 signs starting with that one so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i'm going to bring my whole hallway the rest of the way down there so that is 11 let's actually go down one more we can put our soul sand right there and the slab right there the floor along here and this floor is going to extend out a little bit past this and then this wall actually continues now until we hit that this wall will continue down and i'm just doing a little bit for now and it's still two blocks tall like the rest of our tunnels here and we should be one block under that redstone block which is uh, good we're doing it right waterlog our slab we're just making the same tunnel we've been making okay there you go that is this bubble elevator done okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm going to take this floor and i'm going to extend it uh, just about to here where we have these redstone blocks. Don't need to get too exact with it, uh, at least not for now. Um, I'm going to fill in our floor here. All right, so now this is the moment of truth again. We're going to go over here where we put these absorbatory blocks. Let's break this out, and we should be on the same Y level like that. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and break out our other spots. We know where we are going, and wow, I put that pretty much at the perfect spot. Go like two blocks past that door. Uh, that works. Okay, and let's go ahead and bring the rest of our hallway all the way across. Let's go over here to our first door uh, from the hallway, and we're going to go in and look over here and place uh, a block, and then two more, so make it a little two by two, and then go up here and up here, and we want a lever right here. All right, we're actually going to need to break out a few more back here, because we have just a little bit of redstone to do, of course, of course. Uh, and there we go. That That's the shape we need. So let's do our double piston extender right here with the blocks on it. And actually, I'm going to break out the ceiling just so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, we want two repeaters like that, and then our redstone dust going around it. This one is pulled all the way back. This one is pulled back once. Okay, let's go ahead and put our ceiling back. And now if I flick it, there we go. There's your door. So you can look out, and then you can also just extend it, and you can kind of reach through the piston. Uh, well, I'm in creative mode, but... 
there you go so that's how that works and now let's do the exact same thing over here i'll do it with you guys let's make our two by two build the wall put our lever extend it back an extra block like that and let's not put in our ceiling because i know i'm gonna need to get rid of it double pistons and if i'm going too fast just uh you can pretty much pause the screen and copy what i'm doing uh put our redstone around it there we go let's fill in our ceiling activate that perfect oh and it looks like we have a little bit of like a hole right here so let's go ahead and patch that uh all right looking looking good so we'll leave those doors shut we do have some lights on the top of this hallway so we're gonna leave the first two in the hallway and put one here and then it's basically just every two blocks every two blocks nope not there though uh you're just gonna put one all the way the pattern doesn't break for anything none of the doors as far as you can go right there until the very end well actually we don't even need that one yeah, we took this too far anyway, so we don't need that one. Uh, and we don't even need that one either. Okay. Oh, and my bad. I put this lever right here. It actually goes... It goes on, on that face. There we go. Good catch. All right, let's break out three blocks here because there's one more we have to do over there. So we're going to extend this to make this wall uh, four blocks. And then to extend across here, go three past the four block wall. And then we're going to turn it back three more blocks like that. Fill in our wall. Okay, we can extend this side of the wall like that. And we'll go one, two, three, four. There we go, and then we can extend this one more, and we can go back all the way until we are three blocks in front of this and add three more right there. And if I break this out, we should be... Yeah, there we go, and I think it's actually... I think it is in that spot. There we go. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and extend some walls all the way around this and on this side. Extend it to, like, there for now, and then we can go ahead and throw on a bit of a ceiling okay cool so quick overview we have these four right here and then it turns on this side five four and then extend it back there and on this side four four and then go back okay there's a redstone lamp right there uh and let's go ahead and power that on this wall we are going to go uh to the fifth block one two three four uh fifth block sixth block is empty and this next one we're going to put our double pistons right here with our blocks actually it is that block I, I was wrong all right so we have our double piston extender right here uh the redstone is uh like barely more complicated so let's do a two by three here behind the lever extend it back around like that put our two repeaters here this one is on full tick this one has one redstone dust on top of all of this uh let's check and make sure it works real quick i'm sure it does yep it does okay uh and now we are just going to get out some uh, obsidian and we want two polished right here and then i'm going to surround the redstone in uh as far as you can actually like see because you can actually see through the uh piston a little bit so if i do that now it just looks clean behind there and we're actually going to add an extra block here and then we have one more lamp which goes right here all right there we go now i can you know run out here and and look run back shut the door behind me we have all of these tunnels i can now pretty much access anywhere in the entire prison okay last thing to do we have a little hallway going down leading up to uh this door right here and then the two of uh, the feeding chamber spot by the way these lamps up here i put redstone blocks but they need to be levers up here because we're going to place blocks right here another row and then we're going to do three diagonals like that bring that across that's one two three all right and then let's do one more like that and this will actually be extend down two blocks okay so we have stairs right here we need i think five rows of stairs that's one two three four five yep five rows of stairs like that make them three blocks wide okay now where we had these three let's extend it all the way across and then we can fill in our wall shape on either side it's a little bit weird to build a downward staircase <laughs> it's just a little bit awkward but uh, hopefully this makes a little bit of sense uh okay so this is what we have so far all right so the bottom uh the bottom row we're gonna actually add one and they're like gonna like curve in towards the wall which is right next to it so let's go ahead and add our wall uh and then we'll do like up three here one more next to it let's go ahead and get a floor going so let's just let's get extend the floor all the way to the door uh for all five of these it's just so it's a little bit easier for us uh, okay let's put two redstone lamps here and here so from now on i'm gonna do um i'm gonna do this side and it's the exact same thing on the other side so you can just uh, mirror that after we do uh one side of it oh but uh not symmetrical uh when you're looking when you're walking down the staircase the left side there's a press pressure plate right here that kind of blends in and that will be to activate the store which we'll do in a minute so let's build up three here and three here so this is going to start this tunnel over here okay so 
from here, let's extend six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, and then let's do two rows of stairs up here like that. Okay, let's extend the walls until you're one block away from the stairs. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, extend it an extra five blocks, and then it actually switches to obsidian uh, for some weird reason. I don't really know why. Uh, there we go. Seeing the light, so let's go ahead and leave a gap of one, put, uh, put two, leave three, and then put one more like that. Let's go ahead and put this above it. Um, all right, so after that one, it, the obsidian goes up one and extends this way, and then we can do obsidian down in all of these spots to fill in our walls like this. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so beyond this, let's go ahead and add three going here and then extend our tunnel with all obsidian, no lights at all. And now we're gonna add three. And now let's go ahead and I'm gonna get my wand out. These three are gonna extend until we hit that wall over there. So let's see how long is that, like 15? No, it's like 23. Ooh, how close was I? Oh, I was perfect. And then you can break out a two by three up in this top corner. Uh, and let's go ahead and make this hallway go all the way across. And then it's just like, it goes like this two blocks tall all the way all until the end. Okay, a few more details in here. We're gonna uh, put two shroom lights here and then keep this pattern. You're going to skip three and then do two. It's kind of hard to count this. One, two, three. Skip, uh, yeah, three. And then two. One, two, three. And then two. And you should have three left over. Now, this is exclusive to the right side only. So when you mirror it, do not do this on the other side. We're gonna go to the second thing of shroom lights and look at the left one and then replace this one and add a button. This is where the food dispenser will be. And that is the only detail that is only on this side. Everything else is a mirror image. So uh, go ahead and uh, copy the exact same hallway mirror image onto this side. Okay, our hallway is flipped on either side. So let's go ahead and start this thing right here. Let's add an extra row and let's go ahead and throw in our pistons. So we'll do two by two like that. Two right here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this and put it right there because that is where it goes when it's retracted. And we can also add two here and then three right there for that hallway. Uh, so let's go underneath, uh, let's see, where is our, it's right, it's right here, so let's go underneath here. Alright, let's, uh, I'm gonna use blue concrete for this, uh, by the way, when we do the redstone, I'm gonna, like, color code most things, just so we, like, cause some areas are, like, spaghetti noodles, and it gets, like, very, uh, crazy looking. Anyways, we're gonna go over here, so, four redstone dust to the back, one here, repeater, one more dust, and then we're gonna do a torch tower like that so one two three torches okay let's extend this all the way over and then go down like that let's actually add blocks on top of this to power it then we're gonna go this way extend it one time we're gonna go this way there we go i heard it extend and then we're gonna go back this way put one down here a little two by two let's put our two repeaters to power these and connect it like that okay let's see this should work it usually glitches out the first time and let's see uh, yep, looks good. So, this is a one-way, by the way. Once you walk out, there's no going back in. So, you know, uh, genius design there. Uh, anyways, there you go. A quick redstone. Uh, next thing, we're going to finish the last, last room of the prison. Uh, that being the, uh, portal room in the nether. So, I'm gonna get some flint and steel. And now, I have very specific instructions for this. Because you need to be very careful where exactly you build this thing. Uh, because it, the prison... How do I describe it? Basically, the prison is perfectly split, so, you know, how it's divided by eight. It needs to go perfectly in between. Like, this is, these portals are the farthest apart they can possibly be. So, I'm going to go in here and bust up this a little bit. Oh, yeah, okay, it's already not. So, let's go through this portal. You see how they're not linked at all? So, what we need to do, we need to find the mid-ground between these two portals. So, maybe about here, maybe. Uh, and also, it's about this high up in the ground, anyways. Um, you know, actually, let's go back a little bit. Basically, we just need this to be, uh, this might be good. Let's test it. Let's go ahead and get rid of you and get rid of this one. It's very picky about where the portal is. It might take a while to find. So I'm in this one. Now, if I break it and I go over here, right, I should still go through the same portal. There we go. And now if I go back, okay, the portals are linked. You can tell they're linked. So just triple check that your portals are linked so find the spot that works for you somewhere in this general vicinity and uh also i just realized i actually do have the correct nether in almost the correct nether oh no there it is there's the corrupted chunks all right 
Let's go ahead and build another room. Okay, uh, by the way, it's a three by three portal, so make it a little wider. Also broke it so I don't keep actually going into it and it uh, makes a loud, annoying sound. And we don't want that. Okay, so on either side, we want three and three like that. Uh, by the way, you want, like, when you're walking out of the portal, that should be facing uh, west and east, not north and south, uh, in case you want that. Uh, and now let's go ahead and surround this entire thing with the uh, polished, like so. And uh, there's a bit of a floor pattern in here. So we can do, let's see. We want to add one here and here, here and here, and then there and there, there and there. Okay, and we can put more polished there and there. So here's what our floor looks like so far. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and put ones in the, the corners just to make it easy to build. And you know what? Actually, let's just do a full ring around it. You're not going to be able to see this, but uh, it'll make it easier to actually like place the blocks. Uh, by the way, on the real Dream SP, there's like a big uh, obsidian box around it to prevent people from breaking in. Anyways, okay, let's put... Uh, slabs and by the way the quartz stone slab not the smooth version there the regular version uh nice let's get chiseled and we're gonna put two chiseled like that two stairs chiseled two stairs and then just do this all the way around and then we'll do two one two two diagonal two one two two diagonal two one two like that uh so that's what our bottom looks like uh, right now, on top of all this, we're going to extend up on all the chiseled ones. We're going... Oh, that's the wrong block. I need the, the pillar version. There we go. Uh, we're going to go up one, two, three, four, and another chiseled. So do that on all of these spots. And then while you're at it, connect with upside down stairs in between, just like we did at the bottom. All right, cool. Now we're going to put slabs in the uh, upper corners of all of that. Okay, so now when we're looking... Okay, let's see. When we are facing west and we look at the ceiling, we want this one to be chiseled and this one to be chiseled, and then the entire ceiling is going to be a checkered of obsidian and polished. Uh, but you know, if you really want the super detail about which where, which side the checkered starts on, um, there you, oh, actually, does it not matter? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter from the top. I guess all four corners start with chiseled or uh, uh, the polished. Well, well, there you go. Uh, and then on the back walls, we want the far outer corners to all be polished like that. And we just fill in all of our panels uh, like so. And if you want, you can actually just do the checkered pattern all the way across. Uh, really up to you if you're saving resources or something. Uh, and do that on the other side as well. And the, the opposite, the bottom, bottom corners are actually obsidian on the north and uh, south sides. Uh, if, if you're actually paying attention or want to care about that kind of level of detail okay so there you go uh now if you want the box to look good from the outside like on the real server uh we basically just need to get some world edit out and cover this entire thing every side in oh i didn't do the side oops let me do this real quick okay anyways as i was saying we are just going to cover uh this entire thing in obsidian uh, so we're gonna set obsidian and let's do big big walls all the way around it and uh, you could also fill in the hollow inside with obsidian if you wanted i'm not going to but uh, you can there you go so that's what it looks like on the real server it's just a big box and here's what it is on the inside just get a flint and steel and light it back up get back in the overworld okay you have this room done also i'm gonna break that one because by default this is the one that is lit but actually let's leave both unlit now that we have the nether room there is one more final room left to do and that is a secret room above here. It's like a hidden uh, stasis chamber for the warden to travel around easier. Okay, so to place this correctly, let's look at the front desk and let's look up here. Let's go ahead and break out this one temporarily. Put a shroom light right there and replace it with a slab. There we go. So that's where, that's where the shroom light should go. Okay, now up here, it is very cramped for space. It's a very small tunnel. So we're going to put a little L shape back here. And let's go ahead and get out some uh, of this put two pressure plates like that and i'm actually gonna get out the uh water bucket and let's go ahead and like build up around this and there will be water in that corner like that oh and my bad um that's actually supposed to be obsidian all the way or the walls will be obsidian uh, the rest of it's correct and we'll go up around it like that and here and then this wall is three blocks long and then right there uh there's a button down there there's a lever up here there you go it's a very small room all right in here we're gonna put um there's a tunnel that goes up right there and then right here we want a stone stone brick right there and then let's have a piston a sticky piston right there there will be more which pushes you down into the floor later 
that is good enough for now. Okay, so this tunnel right here, we have like one block of the tunnel. It needs to be seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring that all the way up like that. And these three sides, let's go ahead and bring up even more and then put a shroom light right there. Okay, so next up, let's go ahead and put two blocks here so we can put a two by two of barrels standing up. Let's wrap obsidian around it. Okay, and then we want blocks around this like that. There we go, and then a ceiling that slithers across. And the reason I didn't do this is because right here there is a stasis chamber. Uh, so behind it, let's do two more here. There's a shroom light uh, in that corner block next to that. There's a button here, which sends you back to the uh, the main, like the smaller building where the visitors enter. The visitors enter. Um, okay, let's put a polished blackstone. That's where it pushes you. Uh, and then let's go down all the way... Uh, and then we'll put the soul sand right here. It's one block away from that quartz. It should be at least uh, And then let's go ahead and build our tunnel all the way up. We're gonna need to spot so the water doesn't uh, Disappear in a second. Let's go up. All right now in this spot and this spot We are going to add a little extra area so that the water can have an infinite source and always refill So let's go ahead and put water there there and there And let's waterlog the whole thing there we go, so I should swim up, and if I get rid of it and place it, there we go, we're good. And there's, as far as I know, there are no walls in this one. Okay, that, I guess, officially, we have all of the builds. Okay, we're gonna do the locker uh, redstone first, so uh, let's go ahead and start this off, and then we're gonna have to go ahead and type out our book. We need a book. Uh, so, this block right here, oh, also we're gonna do the, 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 the first one, which is to the right here. Uh, so we need a piston behind this block right here, so we're gonna have to get rid of some more wall, and we want a sticky piston right in there. Also, sorry if I'm not great with redstone, uh, I know I'm not that good at redstone, but I'm going to do my best. So we want a hopper facing that way in the corner, and to throw our book down, we are gonna need a hopper minecart in this block. So let's put a rail, hop a minecart, break the rail, and then we're gonna need to put the block back, so we need to use a regular piston activate it so we put our block back in there so from here let's skip a block put a dropper facing down another hopper going into this way and now let's go ahead and make like a little globe we're gonna have one little block of lava right in there and go ahead and surround it so this is if you throw in the wrong item it will just instantly burn it okay so let's go ahead and put a target block next to that and then let's put three blocks behind that and two more i'm using white concrete for this but you can use whatever okay over here we need a comparator coming out of that a block Redstone dust, another block in this corner, repeater going towards that way, and then one more dust right to there. Okay, let's go ahead and place a block here, and then another dropper facing this direction. Go ahead and break this out. Actually, let's keep this one. Put a hopper facing in sideways, break it. Another hopper facing sideways right there. And then let's get some blocks. Two out here, one down here, and then two diagonals like that. Break out the middle one. Back here, we need to do the same thing. Let's go ahead and get our target block, put it right here. And then build a uh, two by three out like that. Put our two blocks, uh, redstone dust in right there, and in this corner, repeater there. And then I need to pick block a comparator real quick. Put it facing there. Okay, on top of this, let's get a comparator coming out of you. Two tor uh, two redstone dust like that. Repeater facing that way, and then a torch down there. And this will be powered when we put items in here. Okay, let's leave this for a second. And now I want to go ahead and put our dropper facing into the wall right behind our button. And, uh, that's okay, that's good. So let's come back down here. So where this is, we're going to put four packed ice and then a soul sand. And you don't have to surround it in glass. You can pick any block, but I use glass. Uh, so we'll surround it like that. And then we want a box on top of it. And then it's going to come up. A little bubble elevator right here. Just to transport the book up and unlock everything. And down here, we actually need a sign. So don't forget a sign. Let's go ahead and put our water flowing right there, and let's go up to the same height as the dropper. Okay, so let's break out this one, do three droppers going into that, and let's bring this side up one more, and then extend it out one, and one right there, two blocks on top. Okay, so our water, we need to put one right there, so it'll flow that direction and down, and then we get our kelp, make this a bubble elevator to send you up. Okay, that is good, we can put that one. Um, back in we have a little bit of redstone to do here. So let me get a block uh, That and a comparator 
Uh, actually, I need a red repeater as well. Uh, okay, so let's put a block here, uh, and then two diagonal here, and then one down going into that dropper. Let's fix our wall real quick. Okay, so we need a comparator coming out of that dust here, repeater going this direction, a redstone torch here, and we need an extra block here. We'll do three redstone dust, and then we will go down an extra one and over, connect it to extend that because it'll be on by default. Uh, last thing to do, let's go ahead and uh, fill in as much as we can around this so that when we shoot the book out at the wall, it doesn't just fly around and it goes straight into the room. And I think, I think that is it. That is one locker done. So go ahead and copy this design. Uh, it's like a mirror image of it onto this side and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna need to make our locker key cards and a custom piece of stone. So for locker key one, this is what I have on the inside. So if you wanna copy that and go ahead and sign it, locker key one. This is the second one. There you go, just one page long. Uh, so, and you can just type in whatever you want. It does not have to be this exact text. It does not matter. And this is what I've named the stone. You just want something that is pretty, uh, that no one's going to copy. So there you go. If you want to make it exact, you can. So in this middle hopper right here, we are going to, if, so by the way, this, the left one here is the, is locker key or locker one. That is locker two. So in locker one, we're obviously going to use, uh, one book right here and make a copy of it. And then we are going to do, uh, let's see, we need <clears throat> 15 stone. So do 15 right there, then three more like that. And then you can see now that's on and given a little bit of power. And then one down here, just one like that. And that is all you need. So let's go ahead and test it out. Should be working now. So we, if we have number one, actually, let's see if let's use something else. And you hear it? I heard the lava burn it. So that's good. So now I'll throw it on one here. Give it a second. It will flow through. And there you go. It's functional. I can use my items. I can get to the inner chest right now I press the button, I get the book back, it closes, and I put it away until the end of my visit. There we go, so that is one working. So now you're just gonna do the same thing over here. So go ahead and put uh, one book in there, one book down there, uh, and then we need 15 stone here, three more, and that is this one all set up. So let's just for the sake of it, test our other one. Let's see, did I lose my book? No, I didn't, okay. Let's throw it in. Give it a second to cycle through. There we go. It works. Push it back. I got it. So there you go. There's the lockers done. All right. Next up, we're going to go ahead and start the portal uh, on this right one. Let's go ahead and put a water bucket right here to break the portal over here. Let's fill this with flint and steel. All right. Let's just go ahead and get started with all this, I guess. It's a pretty big redstone. So let's do a two by two right here. And then one down here. Two repeaters right there. Uh, pulled back all the way like that we're gonna do dust there 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 one down here a torch so that'll be powered by default let's break out an l shape here dust right there repeater going here on full delay and two going here on full delay and actually we can put that one back we broke out one too many and we will do two right here and then one powering into that okay over here let's go ahead and power two into there and let's go back until one block away from this wall Forget that one, make it a repeater. Let's do two more, and then we'll need a observer with a dot facing out like that. A piston right here to update that. A block right here with a torch on top of it, which will turn on our water. Let's, uh, we don't want that though, actually. So let me just like put my water back, I think. There we go. Okay, um, let's continue here. We'll go up and around this, and then actually we're gonna go start heading back down. Let's break out a bunch of blocks here one into there let's break out this one and go down one and down here okay, and then these two need to connect right here so let's break out these three one there and there and a repeater like that so now these connect to both sides which is good and then this one is starting to circling down into the prison okay welcome back we are now back in the prison it'll make more sense in a second so we need to find this dispenser right here and put some dust on top of it and i'm going to use purple concrete for the rest of this to indicate that it is the portal makes sense in my head let's wrap around this and go all the way to the other side uh just to put our redstone on top of all right and then we can go over here so we'll put dust on top of that dispenser as well let's put uh three here and then on top of this so let's go over an extra three and then we need to toggle it so sewer repeater with that amount of delay uh one up here with a torch and then a something like that piston and then our observer going into that 
with a block right here and actually this is backwards sorry we need you know, like that the dot facing in the back okay so let's go ahead and so now in this corner this middle one right here we're gonna start heading down and we need this dust right here to somehow connect to the dust that we laid out over yeah right here so this this dust needs to connect to this dust right here so i'm gonna let you connect that and i'll show you what i have after okay i have gone and connected this whole thing up so as you can see starting right here in this corner i'll show you exactly what i did just in case so I, I went down hit this wall and then i went down a few blocks in this way also you're gonna need repeaters to connect it and the repeater should be signaling the power uh from the main prison towards the uh the smaller building i don't know what to call it and then i went this way down the wall uh, about this many blocks if you want to count that and i went into the wall basically i just went until i was like not in the the ocean anymore and i dug straight through all the way here went took a little staircase going up and again this is the kind of stuff i'm not going to show you because this would add like 20 minutes to the video just trying to <laughs> connect these lines together and there's just no point in that and it goes up around here and it connects into this so we do have a little bit of redstone to do for this piston so uh you're gonna have to work around that so try not to get in the way which is what i had to do uh and there you go it connects all the way across uh like that now uh we need to invert the signal though halfway so i'm just gonna go anywhere in your tunnel where you have a straight line so i'm gonna go about here and i'm going to go ahead and break out two in the floor like that and then put a uh uh uh, what am I gonna call it? Torch right there. Oh my god. Put a torch right there. So this side is powered. So basically, halfway through, it just inverts the signal. It needs, it needs to do that somewhere. Uh, and by default, this is the side that will be on, but we'll do that in a. Okay, let's go ahead and go down here. I know this is pretty complicated, but um, just follow exactly what I do. So we're gonna put two blocks here and a torch right there. And this should line up with our lever, which, act, which toggles the portal. I would say activate, but it toggles. One up here, turn it off. One down there, another one right here. And I'm doing this just because there's going to be a lot of redstone uh, all in this area. So we need to get it like out of the way of everything else. So let's put three here, one here, and then let's go up one, two, three, like that. Two more over, and then we'll go up again until we are up here. And actually, once we hit that, we don't even need to break that out. Let's go this way for three and basically i know this doesn't need to be purple concrete but it'll help later on when there's a lot more stuff here um okay so let's do three here a repeater going into that which will lock it when the key card is in and then let's go ahead and put this all the way up and we're gonna need a repeater somewhere in here let's do it right there and there you go that is powered and it looks like it didn't make it here so i'm gonna need to uh fix this so that there is a repeater there so I'll fix this. Okay, so last thing to do for the portals real quick. Let's go ahead and in this side, we're going to put a water bucket. And you can put flint and steel, which I think it's what's really in there. But I'm going to use fire charge because it'll just last way longer than flint and steel. Oh, I actually, I don't know the math. I think it lasts longer. How many uses does the flint and steel have? Okay, that's regardless. Uh, let's go in here. Obviously, the it's not toggleable by the, the book yet. But if we flick this... Um, no, it wasn't okay yeah so when it's up it should be on so it's on and now let's go ahead and check so this one is on it which should toggle this one off okay it's off so now if we flip it this one should be off and the other one should be on so that is turned off and you should be on okay perfect our portal works that is exactly what we want okay we are going to go ahead and do both this door and this door now uh and and this is before we're just doing the and the reason it's like laid out so weird is because it's trying to avoid everything else and also uh to get the the guard keys to toggle whether this can be turned on or off which is why like you could uh, like wire it more direct but we're not doing it on purpose anyway so right here behind this and this these are our two levers so let's go ahead and turn them down so that they are so the doors would be open uh, and let's go to the side here. We're gonna go seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Down one like that. Let's go ahead and put our dust on top of all of that. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and do two down here. Uh, no, sorry, one down there and one up. So repeater right there, uh, which is, there's always gonna be a repeater so you can lock it. And then it goes into that block and we are gonna turn it to the side. One back, one over. 
So three like that, and then our repeater like that. And then, oops, I just fell all the way down. Uh, we're gonna do a block going into it with a torch. All right, and then let's go back down for three like that. And actually, let's get rid of this flooring here. So three like that, one over. And so this one will go to this piston. So we'll just go one up, three right here, super easy. Uh, into that, which shuts that side of the door. And actually, sorry, I meant when we flick it, that means it's uh, it's shut, not open. Okay, so on the other side, this one, we need to be careful because they're right next to each other. So we'll go two over. And then this one, we can go two down. The other one, we can maneuver. Uh, so let's put that in there. And then these three, let's go down again, and then down again. Connect this to the other side. Uh, yep, yeah, so let's go down like here. And we can go across. I think we might need a repeater in the middle. I don't know. Just do it just in case. And connect that. Okay, so that is the, just the basic door. Opens and shuts. Looks good. Actually, the timing is a little bit wonky, so I think we can extend that one one because we want the doors to shut clean. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Let's do the second locker. Okay, this one is particularly one that has a lot of wonky redstone going on here. Uh, and for this one, let's use pink. Because why not? Uh, so we'll actually go down here. Two dust. Go down one. Over one. And then two blocks right there and there. So one down. Repeater going into this block. Right? And then there should be two more down here. Dust. Uh, dust here. And then we'll start going down like that. So sorry if that's a little bit confusing. That is what this should look like. Okay, let's do the same thing. Let's go all the way to the other side first. Let's go to the far wall. Put one here and we're pretty chilling on space on this side. Uh, so let's go like down, down, down. Curve it like that. Boom. Okay, so this is the side that's a little bit weird because we have this one. So let's go like down one uh, and over here. Down one. Down again. And down one final time. Let's extend it this way. Yeah, and I think we can... Let's just, like, move it as far away from the middle as possible. Uh, let's put a block here to stop it. And let's scoot it over to that. Okay. So let's connect it. And also, right here in the middle of this long line, we're going to need to invert our signal. So go ahead and invert it right there before I forget. So let's push you up to this door, and it reaches. Good. Okay, and let's extend it to this side. Like that. Over. And does it make it? No. So we need a repeater. Right there. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's check the timing on this door. Locker 2. I can't really tell. I think this one is slightly slower. So let's... Uh, over here, let's add a extra one little bit of delay see if that fixes it also if you want to toggle like which game mode you're in which will be very helpful uh press like f3 and f4 and go to spectator or creative and then you should be able to toggle back and forth by pressing f3 and n at the same time uh that is obviously if you're in java so let's see okay i think that door i think that door is good okay um let's go ahead and start this door right here so we're gonna put our two torches here where the door goes and this one right here this torch connects to this door right here the closest one to us so we're gonna come out three two over then we're gonna go four down let's go down again and down again put our dust as we go so we know where to put repeaters okay we're gonna go down one more time and this is really like far apart for no reason because there's gonna be uh obviously this one in the way uh so we'll put two down here right and then we're gonna put two repeaters so that it can lock on this side okay then we're gonna put a block up here dust down there and then another block here which should be turned off by that okay so now we can come across and do this so we'll put four repeaters and our uh blocks right there okay now we can come back out right here one one up okay and then we can kind of come up diagonal here 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 and now there's a bit of a little extra situation here because um, if we remember in here... Yeah, so it looks like we forgot to add. There's actually a lever which goes right here, which also turns on and off this door from the other side, which makes this a little extra complicated for no real reason. Uh, so let's go ahead and add this up here. So for now, we're going to put one here uh, to get back 
to, I think that's three ticks. Oh god, I still don't know the ticks. Put a block here. Uh, let's go back, and then we can uh, just power this one normally. Okay, so it should look like that. And also, if you want the timing to be good, go ahead and pull all these back. So let's test it real quick. Good. Okay. So before we do the the extra stuff, because this that the lever down here actually shuts this door and this door from this side. And right now, I think it already shuts this door. Yeah, so that is good. And this one it doesn't have a keycard uh, toggling it because it's only accessible on one side. Okay, so let's do uh, this one. And I'm going to use dark blue because these two, I'm going to make them both blue because they're very similar to each other and kind of connected in a way because of that lever. So let's go down here like that. And we just need to drag across quite a bit, which is why we made the other one the way it is. Um, okay, so right here, let's go ahead and put that. Uh, so let's see that. How long is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, like that. Okay, let's go down, down again, two, three, because we need to go around the stasis chamber. Let's actually make that four, like that, and then we'll go straight into that. Let's add our redstone dust before we forget. Let's do three here, and then do our repeater, because it's going to lock from this direction. It's a little tight for space. Uh, and then we'll do a block here just to power that. Um, and also, I just realized that we need to actually power this by lever, so that when we put our dust here, uh, no, we need, we need the lever over there. Yeah, there you go. So if that wasn't there, it's not powering this redstone dust, uh, which is a good catch. Oh, make that a repeater. Okay, now this is some very, very mixed up circuitry. It's actually so tight that we're going to use uh, a little trick. We're going to use glowstone. Let's make one of those glowstone redstone power or one of those towers that goes straight up so we're gonna wrap around this let's add two more one over one over make all of this dust okay and now we're gonna need a uh glowstone right here and we actually need four glowstone like that which it should be able to go yeah the power is able to go up a block here with dust a repeater knock it back two more times and then have it go back into that block okay and we want a block up here so it doesn't doesn't go up there it actually we want it to go into this block with a torch coming off of it which will turn it off okay and now we want to come out this way with a dust right there and then we need another glowstone tower one two three four and actually five and six so let's put dust on top of all of that there we go and now we can actually go uh up one more and go around like this in a big C shape. Put dust on top of that, repeater to dust. And actually, you know, you can power this by breaking these out and putting dust on top of all of them. So there we go, that is the top powered. Down here, we can go one over, one over, and then power this like normal with repeaters just in case the tick needs to be adjusted, which I don't think it does. Like that. Now if we check it, and we should flick it, there we go. So it works, we can turn it on and off. Now let's deal with the lever Okay, so up here, we're going to go ahead and put a sticky piston on top of this block and a slime block with a redstone. And then down here next to the slime block, let's go ahead and do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Sorry, we only needed five. And also, um, this one needs to be obsidian because it'll connect. So let's go five uh, across like that. And we want another sticky piston down here, this time with two slime blocks, which will extend a redstone block down there. And we'll put dust to the side here. So we want it to go all the way down, down again, then down one more time. Sorry, actually, we want it to go against this back wall so it doesn't get in the way of anything. Eh, that's what I was talking about. It's very tight for space. Wait, no, my bad. This is this is wrong. So we need to go down one here, and then we can actually break out this because the pillar is right here to give us some extra room. Go back one, go down one, go down again, and we want a block up there, and then it's go. We need it to just go into that block, which should work. Um, uh, maybe it's because this should be a repeater. Yep. Okay, that's why. Okay, sorry, that is a bit, that's very complicated down in there. But that, there you go, so that, that's how this all works. And we have our spots to toggle it. Up. Ah, okay, I found a problem. So these three redstone blocks and these three uh, are getting in the way a bit. So let's move them over, over here. There you go, because it was powering this redstone dust no matter what. Oh, here we go, found one more mistake. We need to um, put some extra blocks. We need to put a block here. There we go, because that shouldn't be powering. That should not be powering that. Okay, so let me put this back. I was just 
fixing that for a second because I was a little confused there. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out real quick. So from the inside, we press this. Should shut both. Good. Press it again. Should open both. Good, 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 good. Come in here. You can shut the visitor side. You can shut the guard side. You can lift them both back up. All right, sweet. And everything's synced up. Okay, that is all of the doors in this room wired and the lockers. All right, next up we have some quick but uh, annoying redstone. So let's pick a color. Uh, light gray. This is going to be kind of annoying, but we got to do it. So where we have this polished up here, uh, it actually needs to obviously be a piston so it will activate our stasis chamber in there. Uh, and now this right here, this block, we need to connect dust from this point to this button in this room and uh, there's really nothing special about it so i'm gonna bring it out like that and we just need to start heading down and connecting it and make sure your repeaters uh when you're powering this they should be facing this direction going from that button this way not not vice versa uh so just go ahead and find a way to connect these two points together i'm just gonna cut and i'll show you what i have if you want to copy it okay i went ahead and wired this up so right here i did a little, did a little spiral staircase down went straight across down this wall right here and then i went down pretty pretty much right next to where our, our other tunnel was and it goes across here and it comes out here, making sure, making sure I have repeaters all the way. Nothing special. So, I went ahead and threw a pearl in that stasis chamber up there. And now when I press this button, it should call me right here. So there we go. I have been sent to this room. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to use orange concrete. Uh, so I went ahead and there's a lever in there. I went ahead and flicked it on. So when I put redstone, it should be on. Good. So let's go ahead and just wrap around this thing uh, like that and go up. Put our dust on top of all of this. Okay, so in front of this, we need a sticky piston on top of that stone brick we had there. And then we also are going to need a second sticky piston on top of that double piston. Uh, let's put a redstone dust right there. Okay, let's put two blocks here, a dust and a target block. So all that does is power uh, that piston individually. Now these two, we are going to do a little bit here. We're going to put two here. And let's put a observer so the red dot is facing down break this one back out there we go that should punch our blocks out which is good let's put uh, a block here another one here and a, another one here and all we need here is a little timer that waits a certain amount of time before it uh, fixes the ceiling back up uh so let's go out uh, an extra four here so you should have five and let's go out three here back around for three extra over two down one down again and then two blocks up like that so we have this little loop here let's just go ahead and put a piston or a, a torch right there and pull it back all the way there we go uh and then let's do that let's go one two three uh we need one or that we need two back here two here five here all right, then one final one right there. Dust, dust, and one right there. Okay, and then let's pull all of these back, except for that one. Let's pull back. Okay, I think that's all you need for that. So let's go in here. So you, you do the pearl, you fall down, you lift this block. And honestly, I don't really know why that block is there. You, like, you don't need it at all. You just stand here, and that has punched me through. And then wait for the timer. And it fixes the ceiling. Perfect. Okay, I think that this little thing is all wired up. All right, let's begin arguably the worst and hardest part of this area. This room and I, this room over there, those are two of like the worst rooms in the whole prison. So, of course, we had to start off the redstone with one of the hardest rooms. Most rooms will go a lot faster than this, I swear. So, right here, this is where you throw your book for this keycard. And this is also our first keycard system we're doing. So let's get rid of this. We need to put our minecart in there. Break out the- Oh, and actually, before we do that, let's not make that mistake. Uh, this will actually have to be a observer facing straight down on top of the minecart. So let's put it back now. Get rid of that. We're gonna have to fix our floor right in there. There we go. So that is now in place. All right, bear with me here. This is gonna be a little bit actually very complicated so let's do a dropper straight down next to this 
we'll go one facing into that. And now we're going to want one facing towards the pink that we did over there. And then another one facing towards the pink, straight down like that. And then let's go out one and then back three. And we want three going towards this direction like that. Okay, now we want, uh, let's see, three droppers going straight up. One, two, oh, straight up, three. Okay, and then we're going to need a block here. And we need another dropper going straight up and one going into the side of it like that. Uh, now for one of these uh, elevators, we need a block here, uh, basically like a star shape with the middle broken out. Another one here, we're gonna need a torch down there, torch here, put an extra block here, get rid of that, put, make that one a torch to power that. Okay, on the back side, we're gonna need a comparator facing into that, facing in, and again, right here. And now we should be able to put our dust here. Nope. Oh wait, sorry. There needs to be a uh, torch down there. There we go. Which should just turn it off. Okay, that's good. We need a block next to that right there. One under it with a torch, which will power that. So from here, we're going to go down a block. We're going to go over three, one over, one over, one up, two, three, four, five, six, and down one, up one, two, three. So we need a torch right there. So this will be inverted right there. So this will go into our torch, so it's off by default. Okay, so let's come up here. We need a torch right there. That is the button for uh, to get the book. And we're gonna do one there, one here, uh, and then I think eight. We can do a torch off of that. All right, and then we can do three, which will power that, and then we can go over and connect it. I don't think this should be a problem. There we go. So that, that activates the book. Oh, sorry. We want two dust here. Invert that. There we go. So it should be like that by default. Okay, now this system also turns on and off. It toggles these lamps. So to do that, we're going to go to this side and we're going to have... Nope, don't flick that off. We are going to have a comparator coming out the side right there with a block and a torch like that. Uh, and by the way, we're going to need our guard key. So let's just go ahead and get that now so we can fill it up. So this is the guard key. This is what is inside page one and page two. You can just smash your face into the keyboard if you want, get whatever you want. Uh, but basically we're going to need one of these up in here, which will turn that on, which is what we need, which will turn that torch off. Uh, and then we can go two dust right there and we can go down uh, for one. Okay, let's, uh, let's go down one more, um, and then one more. Okay, and now this, we're just going to bring all the way across. Uh, we're gonna need a block right there to stop them from connecting until we're two blocks past that. So let's put dust, and I think you need a, a, a repeater somewhere in the middle here. So yeah, we'll go like right here, put a repeater. Uh, all right, let's go up two, up one this way, up three this way. Like that, that, that put a repeater on the end here. Okay, up by the lamps. We're gonna need to do a little bit of trickery. So let's put blocks in front of them, blocks of redstone underneath them, and then below this, we need to, um, beneath them, let's break out these five. Actually, keep the one in front of the minecart so that doesn't break. Uh, and then we can do a block diagonal down here and a repeater going out from them. There. And there okay that is good now in front of these blocks we need uh one two three four five more one two three four five put repeaters here and there put extra blocks knock out these two and then we can do three and three actually we only need like two there so these just connect uh together okay now it should be pretty straightforward we just go down and we can connect them right here so connect those okay that is let's bring this one down just in case connect that okay now this this signal right here so the signal that we have made detects if there is a book ready to be launched out so right now i put it in the system as if there is a book in the system um which is good so now we need to lock our other ones so let's go up to this one and we just need a little line connecting these so if we put this 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 and that and then a repeater going into that and looks like we're gonna have to raise this up an extra block 
like that so it actually so hopefully you can see what i've done there so now it connects and so when this is powered it will lock it so that the portal cannot be toggleable that's so what we want to do here as well we don't need green though we don't want green uh so we're gonna lock it here let's bring it over doesn't matter how messy it is there's nothing else here uh and we're gonna need a repeater locking that one we need one locking you so let's drag it over and I'll make it cleaner okay there we go so that locks you you and you okay the next lock is right here so we'll go over and I think just connecting it back here is good all right oh, we need a repeater here locking it okay the last one needs to lock is over here by this stasis chamber so this one we have to mess with a bit so we'll put our repeater in there and then that and we need to just connect it to this line down here okay yeah this is one of like the this is one of the worst spots because all it needs to connect to every single mechanism in here which makes a huge mess okay so right here to hook up our button back where we started let's put two here with two dust like that so if i press this we would get we got our book back right so now let's check um you can see it has little like bedrock bar so that is locked that is locked portal is locked check this door is not locked it's because the signal didn't make it so add a repeater okay that is locked and you are locked okay so all four doors and the portal all five have been locked when the book is in and out next up let's go ahead and add the spot so i need some glass and i'm gonna need some lava uh, let's go ahead and add the spot where it burns the book if you throw in the wrong item so underneath this we need to put some glass make our little dome again like we did for the locker um like that okay so next let's put a block next to it three and then two okay and we can do a comparator coming out of it a repeater behind that and then three dust there and one on top okay quickly uh in this bottom one down here we're gonna do two one down here and then break out the middle one uh, let's do our repeater down there two dust like that comparator coming out of that middle hopper which we'll put items in in a second uh, torch right there okay so let's go ahead and put in uh our thing so we need a guard key and this so we'll put guard key right there and then we need 15 one one and one okay so it is it is locked there's not one in there okay we got the burn we got that if this detective there's a book we got the dropper clock okay that looks looks good to me okay all five systems get locked we have the spot for our lamps just doing a little checklist in my head okay i think we got all the redstone in that so let's go ahead and test this out moment of truth oh, oh wait 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 for everyone i forgot so let's check this one down here has this contents and the one below it needs to have a book as well. Go ahead and add a guard key right there, or else it won't work. Mm, and this one should be empty, it's not powered. Okay, let's test it. So, the lights are, let's test it. There's nothing in there, as you can see. So right now, if I flick it, nothing works. They're locked. I cannot get any of our doors to work, okay? And the lights are on, which means there's no book, it's locked. So, if I grab myself a guard key, throw it down give it a second they turn off that means that there is a book in the system i flick it now it works that one works now that works it works working all of that and let's test our portal oops that was the book return oh well there you go the book return works hold on let me test it again i want to make sure the portal works okay it turns off our portal works sweet get our book back you have to stand right here by the way to get the book uh this also returns the book they both these buttons do the same thing uh and now if i do it portal doesn't work okay i'm actually pretty proud of that okay we got all the redstone in this room done and the lockers and the secret thing above there okay i'm actually i'm feeling good about that that gave me some confidence i can do the rest of this okay um you know what let's keep going this is going to be a very long video and i don't think anyone will be angry because I've waited quite some time to upload, so I guess I owe it. 
to keep it going here. So I'm going to use lime concrete to do um, to do this section of our redstone. So what do we need? What do we need? We need a, a sticky piston. We need all that. Okay, so behind this, this is the lever that activates the kill chamber right there. So we're going to put a block behind it. Uh, another one, another one. I think we're safe if we put three here. Uh, and then, oh, by the way, this is supposed to be down by default. And when you flick it up, that's when it turns on. Put a torch here that turns off. And let's go to the side here to get that. Let's go over three. Down one. And we can go across. So let's go bring this over. Oh, sorry, my bad. Actually, it will get in the way. So we need to go those three and then over one. There we go. And we have to go down an extra one so that these levers don't accidentally power it. Gotta be very careful here. Uh, okay, now this is not that hard to do at all. That's the only part that really mattered. We're just gonna put target blocks underneath all of that. And then let's do a ring of concrete around it to power all of them. Like this. Okay, let's put some dust connecting all of this to power them all. Um, and then we can just come over here, connect it. Let's check that we don't need a repeater. Uh, yeah, I didn't reach the backside, so let's put a repeater right there. Um, okay, so that powers that. Okay, so up here we need dispensers, so where does this line up? Okay, it lines up right here, so I'm gonna need to just get in here real quick. There are dispensers facing directly on top of the ceiling like that uh and now we need to well let's put some hoppers in there for now so it funnels in extra uh, but we don't need to worry about that yet uh let's go ahead and wrap blocks here let me use the con concrete to make sure we're staying consistent here wrap around this so to make sure it's directly on top of the sea lanterns in that room okay and now i can put dust around it like so um now we need to bring we need to bring this up so let's just come on up anywhere really and should bring it across without getting in the way of anything else. So I think we're good if we squeeze our way through with this. There we go. Sorry, I needed to throw a repeater in there to keep it powered, so go ahead and do that. And then let's put a block here so it doesn't power it. Okay, bring it across, and we need to invert our signal. Uh, so it's like, well, let's put it over here so it actually goes into the block. Invert our signal. All right, sorry, I went ahead and turned off the lever just to make sure that it's not going to uh, keep flowing the whole time. Uh, okay, so let's let's go up one like that. Let's put a sticky piston in there. Power that. We just need a block like that, which will turn off the signal. And then we just need a basic redstone clock here. So let's do a 2x4 like that. Dust there. Two going in. That and a Peter. And then two going in there. And then if I break it and place it, there we go. A clock. And it's kind of slow. It's not that fast. Uh, okay, so let's just put like put a few items in here just so I know it's working. Uh, so if I go in here and I flick it, it comes up and I can hear the dispenser going off, going to town, spitting my blocks everywhere, which we, we don't really want that. Um, okay, I think they're empty now. Okay, good. So now let's go ahead and get some, some chests out and some more hoppers. All right, now we're gonna, now you want extra potions to funnel in. So I'm going to go ahead and do it like that. And go ahead and fill these with uh, splash potions of harming. And then if you want even more storage, I don't know if it's like this in the real prison or not, but if you want even more storage, you can do this again. So it just keeps funneling in more and more potions. Just as many as you can. Okay, so up here, I think we have our pressure plates here and we have our lever here. So you walk through, it opens and shuts. From here, you can flick it open and shut. Uh, so let's go down here. We're gonna do a 2x2 two two of dust here, and I'm gonna get some uh, target blocks out and some sticky pistons. Let's do a target block there and there, and then there and there, and now that should shut uh, this side for us. And now to keep the signal going here, we have this torch, so let's put one above that in here, and then another diagonal up here like that and one here here and here and then we just need to put it on top of that okay i think that is like the coming inside done so you walk through and that's that's literally it now for this lever we can just put one down here uh and so it needs to basically let's see it needs to just come into this spot right here 
with a repeater so put a repeater there and then i think we can just funnel this up like that i think that's literally it so let's just funnel it across okay let's test it out flick it there we go flick it again as you walk through okay there's that door working very easy uh not activated by key card you know what let's just keep going i'm gonna be, i have no idea how long this video is gonna be we're just gonna keep going <laughs> and when i said that like the past few times i think so anyway so where we have this button right here there is a you throw it down right here so we need to have a uh, hopper coming out of it so we'll go this way let's break this out put in the rail hopper minecart get rid of the rail and then we're gonna need a uh, piston real quick to put it back in place can I, I can boom okay okay so right here let's go ahead and uh put our dropper out there with another one like that okay so this one has a pretty long uh water tunnel and another dropper elevator so this is probably one of the another kind of complicated one so we'll do four soul sand then above that we're gonna go up only by one over one over and then another one over so a little squiggly line and right here this is where the lava thing is so let's place a block and two more have two droppers going off to the side like that with a dropper going straight down and also i meant to call these hoppers i don't know if i messed it up uh okay and then let's put a block back here so it goes back like that and then again back and then it needs to go back like that so that is what the hoppers should be facing and these two go into that dropper over there okay and then the item heads off this direction all right then we start heading back this direction uh we're gonna get four packed ice three more this way and a soul sand like that and then we'll go up one okay and then let's go ahead and put a block here temporarily and we'll put a hopper into the side like that let's put a one underneath that and we're gonna need uh six droppers up one two three four five six like that so real quick before we connect this let's go ahead and put a dropper going into the wall right behind the button so now that'll go down Oh, I get it to face straight in. I think we gotta break the wall a little bit. There we go. It goes in like that. Um, okay, so then we can have a hopper going into it like that. And then let's get our packed ice and control it over here. And then right there. And I think that is good. Right, before we do the water and glass, let's get some of the redstone. So it looks uh, a little bit less weird, I guess. So down here, we're gonna need a block there. And then a 2 by 3 You'll see we do this a lot of times, so comparator, rest and repeater, and I don't have dust actually. Get the dust. Uh, go wrong, and on top of that. Okay, over here, we're gonna need uh, the L shape and our two diagonals, break out the middle, repeater, uh, and then comparator coming out of that hopper, and the two redstone dust. Okay, so over here, we need the glass and lava. Right, so let's go ahead and put our glass all the way around like we've been doing. Um, put that and then let's put two blocks here one up there and then two more like that um and you know do the same thing comparator coming out repeater dust on all of that okay good 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 uh let's see what else let's do the tower so from this side we need uh blocks there and there so the comparators can come out and then let's do a line up there okay and then right here we need to do like a, a big checkered pattern so we'll go one here here and here and just make a checkered going all the way down until you are right there okay let's put our torches on the side let's put torches on this side now we need an extra block down here so we can put a torch and then we can put our dust in the middle uh, okay that's the torch okay let's get our uh, glass and we can start building our little trough around the packed ice so I'll just go along here, along here, and technically, I don't think you need a- you don't need a ceiling, but I like putting one. It just makes me feel better about- about it, so I do. Uh, and then I think we'll leave the first four, and then put a sign there for the- that, and then, uh, I think I got rid of my water on accident. There we go. Get the water back. Uh, put one so it flows that way, and then we'll need another one here, so that item will get back to the hopper. All right, let's go ahead and put some glass all the way around uh, this and this side, uh, and then up here, but leave a block, because obviously it goes up right here, and we just need to surround it. Uh, before I forget, there needs to be a sign down there, 
and then if we want we can go ahead and put our water flowing that way uh, let's not put this water yet it'll break stuff uh, and then i think it just needs to go to this hopper so like that it should flow across okay good uh, and we need a water log these two so it should be bubble yep uh and cover the top okay and to turn on and off this light we need just a little bit of redstone let's put two here uh and then we'll do one up there one here here uh here and here oh my god my voice okay i was just checking and make sure you don't forget your torch down there and we'll come back and fill the uh poppers in a second so over here let's go ahead and go down to one up here two here and then diagonal like that comparator needs to come out of that and we need dust down there torch to invert it dust and there we go so it's on by default and it turns okay good and then uh let's put a torch down here to invert it again and this is where the repeater will come in to lock uh the flying machine okay let's go ahead and put our books down here so we need to have one in this one one in that one and then you know the drill we're doing the same thing put uh 15 in there uh oh i need to put there we go okay i don't know all right good so those have the items they need all right let's keep going the dispenser that is down here we're gonna have to wrap all the way around so uh, let's get a comparator coming out and that block let's put it going into a block uh, and then we'll come down diagonal a few times like this so let's get our redstone dust and then all we need to do is come back up like that and connect it and just put it on top of the, uh, that one. Okay, now we need to put glass and water uh, on this one. I forgot this one originally. So go across, and we're gonna need our kelp again for that one block. And then around that, uh, and I think, yeah, we can put one there and go around this whole thing. Okay, so we need a, a sign in front of this kelp. Or in front of the soul sand, sorry. Let's put water down in in there. Wait, let me, I want to cover up this one. There we go. Okay, mm okay. And then I think we can put one there, and it'll flow across. Water log that. And cover it up. Okay, I think, I think we're done. Alright, so it turns out I missed uh, the comparator that is down here. So let's go ahead and break this block out. Add one. We needed a comparator coming out of that one to start the chain. I missed one, so our torch back put that in there we go okay so i think i think we are good now yeah i had a book because i tested it and it failed so let's test again so there's no book in the system showing it's empty throw it in and i'll show you guys as it goes comes out the bottom one through there got checked and burned the lava goes through the tower comes out and turns off our light so if I press the lever to activate this, it is no longer locked. Okay, so before we can do the flying machine, we do have a bit of, like, uh, building we have to do. So we're going to use droppers. Okay, so before we can even build the flying machine, we actually need to finish this room off a little bit more. So under here, I'm going to build one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, and add an extra one, and then add a dispenser facing this way, and we're going to do a row of dispensers, and if you don't know how to place it like that, you just hold shift and spacebar at the same time to fly and crouch at the same time. Uh, so we need that going all the way along, and then we are going to go down, uh, we already have these two, we're going to go down an extra 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like that and then this is the spot where the flying machine goes so it's four blocks long here uh which should line up with let's see oh no it uh, the four lines up with that four okay i'm gonna get my wand out i'm gonna bake a big obsidian wall right here that is six blocks long okay so underneath these uh dispensers we can also make a big obsidian wall that stops right here in this line let's go down 18 uh, like, like that. There we go. So let's make that wall obsidian. On the back, we need one, two, three, four, five, six. And we make this all obsidian, uh, like that. On this wall, the rest of this will also be obsidian, going all the way down. Uh, so let's do 
this. Okay, so uh, just real quick, there's gonna be like a lava trough. So add two in the corners and then up one block above, put like a ring that goes all the way around like this and actually put three in the corners like that because we're gonna we're just basically gonna have to break out the the corners to put in lava which flows down there so you're just gonna need an extra ring one block away from the floor level so if i come in here and we break out this row and in, in, including the corners yeah so we don't want we don't want that showing okay so we're gonna just break all this and this is where we're gonna put the lava uh obviously not yet because we need the flying machine first as you can see there's a trough down here now uh, now, we're not going to build the floor, obviously, because the flying machine will be in the way. Okay, now, uh, I, you know, let's just extend these walls down, actually, even farther. Uh, so these, this one closed the flying machine, so I'm going to uh, do walls obsidian like that, and I went, how far did I go down? I went an extra one, two, three, four, five, six, so add an extra six rows down past that. Um... Obviously, for the people building in survival, you don't have to use obsidian past that point. I went ahead and broke out those blocks you placed uh, just real quick. So let's add an extra row. So when you're looking at it, if you're looking towards like the fault door, it's on the, the right side of the floor. So you don't get your orientation messed up. Put a row of obsidian down there. Okay, so our four blocks, let's see, they go right here. And I want to start by placing uh, the thing. So we need, actually, let's get some... Uh, droppers out so we're gonna go we're gonna skip one one two three four and put a line of droppers here this is what updates the machine to send it up and down so let's go ahead and place all of you in like that okay to build our flying machine let's go ahead and put a sticky piston right here facing up and then let's put our observer underneath that so I think yeah the face is up there which is good so we want that up there we want a sticky piston facing down right there and I think I I'm gonna use I'm gonna use honey for the first row. Doesn't really matter, but uh, let's do one here, four up there, two right there, and our observer right there. Okay, that is one full row of the flying machine done. Uh, I'm just hesitant to put it in, so I don't I don't want to like malfunction it and make it fly up in the air and have to rebuild it all, because that wouldn't be that cool. So let's let's do the exact same thing again. Let's go up like that. Oh wait, no, I have it backwards. I gotta start facing downward. Okay. And we're gonna build the same thing again, but with slime blocks this time. Put your four right in there. Sticky piston up like that. One down there. You just wanna be real careful that you don't send this thing flying for no reason. Because then you gotta rebuild it, and that's no fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and stack this to the other end. I don't know how far to go. Do like 10 uh, actually that might have been too far oh, that was perfect okay there you go 10 which was uh, yeah there you go um okay good so next let's go ahead and put some obsidian underneath these dispensers and like so also if you want just to enclose this area go ahead and put like uh two rows of obsidian on this side you can also put them up here on the row with the the dispensers let's, that's a good idea so let's just cover this all up all right so going into these blocks we're gonna have Let's do two full rows of obsidian. And by the way, I could be using concrete now, but uh, it's whatever. Let's do two full rows of this, and then we are going to have redstone repeaters going into all of this, and redstone dust behind it. I don't think this thing has an exact middle, but we need to find as close to the middle as possible. Also, what block do we want to use for flying machines? Let's use, uh, use cyan for flying machines. Okay, I think that uh, it should be like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, 10 on one, 11 on the other side. So go out here. And it just, it matters because you want it all to be launched at the, about the same time. Or else it makes a wavy spaghetti mess and you don't want that. So let's have some redstone coming out here. And we're going to, we'll get back to this. Let's go back up to the top. All right, right here, this is where the lever is. We're going to put one here, dust on top of it. Uh, that one right there. And is it, well, I don't know why it's flicked out, but we don't need it flicked out. Uh, let's put <clears throat> uh, two to the side, a block on top, and we'll go down one. And so this one is powered, so we'll go one over, one up, another one up like that. Alright, put dust on all of that. Torch right here, dust, and then this will actually go over to the other side, so we'll get back to that in a second. Okay, so right here, we need sticky pistons. So the flying machine only covers four blocks, and this far right side is actually just pushed in by pistons. For some reason just put one there and to make it easier i'm just gonna use world edit to move them all uh stack 20 uh 
yeah, 20 is perfect. Wow, okay. I keep getting really lucky with these world edit guesses. Um, and then let's put, let's put blocks underneath all of this. We'll do two rows of blocks underneath it. Stack 20. Okay, so these are set at like a weird delay to make it like a cool timing thing. So we have every two, we change it by one tick. So we have one, and then we'll do, these two will have two ticks, three ticks, four ticks, then one, one, two, two, three, four, one, one, two, two, and then a three. Uh, like that, and, oh, actually, I guess we, we do need one more right there, so I, I guess we gotta add one more, because it should end with two threes. Uh, there we go. Alright, to keep the delay going, when we get to the ones that have fours, when we get back to the one, let's go ahead and build out a two by two right here, and we'll break out and put one here and up here, put dust there, and then we'll go out by four, put a block, and then two more like that. Okay, and we have to do this one more time when we get back to the one. Two by two, two diagonal there, four, one, dust, dust. There we go. So that is what that looks like. Okay, so I think when we power it, that'll activate in a cool little chain. Speaking of, let's go ahead and connect it right down there. So once we've connected it, let's go down by one, dust, sticky piston below it, and then ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Redstone block. And to the side here, let's do uh, two with some more dust. Uh, so the sticky piston will come down and power it. Another sticky piston. One, two, three, four. Or we just need to get all the way down. Right. Right until we're one block away from that. And let's extend this over until we're next to it. There we go. And as you can see, wow, I'm really glad I put all this space down here because it's so much nicer to look at. So that is what we got. This is just, it brings the redstone down to activate the floor and turn this on. All right, so for the, let's go to the other side. So to turn, uh, to activate all of these to send it back, it's a little bit wonky here. So let's put a block up here because we don't want that to power by the redstone block. And let's put a redstone repeater into that with a block so we can send it down this way and then let's go over three a fourth one and i think we need uh I, just, I don't want these to connect can i just i guess i can just go over this way that'll solve my problem um <clears throat> let's go down again and again um and one more time yep good let's go over let's go about to the middle put a repeater here redstone dust on top of all of these to activate them okay and connect them and i think we need one more repeater like yeah like right there okay and that turns all of them on okay so i think i made a mistake down here so let's check this out okay so uh two things quickly okay and first of all before you'd ever change anything with a flying machine Put blocks above it so it doesn't go flying on you. You don't you don't want that happening uh, ever. So I think we need to get rid of this row of blocks. I think for some reason it's it's messing it up. And also these dispensers need to be or droppers need to be facing up. But before you change it, make sure that you put your blocks up there or it'll just go flying and you have to rebuild the whole thing. And it's super annoying. Okay, I figured out the problem. My bad. These observers are wrong. They need to be going this direction. Yeah, the face needs to be looking at the dropper. Okay. Whew, I was you know, a little worried there. Let's try let's try this again. This is my third attempt here off camera. Uh let's flick it. Nice. Okay, here comes our floor. And it should fit perfectly and stop right there. Cool. And let's flick it back down. Nice. And while it does that, let's uh retract our book. Cool. Wait for it to go all the way down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now let's try again. Doesn't work, because it's locked. Alright, and we'll leave it in the up position. Cool, now uh, we can... It works. So, mistakes there, I'll run it through you again, just in case you missed it and we followed along. Um, I moved the droppers so that they are facing uh, upwards, and these pistons, this or the observers, it should look like this, so the face is looking down at the dropper. Uh, so that was my bad, and I actually don't even think it matters if this row is gone or not, but I'll just leave it how it is, it's working. 
Okay, so next thing to do, we're gonna put lava. Make sure you place it in every single block along this entire trough, all four edges, and you should get the exact right pattern uh, if everything is done correctly. So let's check it out. It's looking good, looking good. There you go. That is exactly what the lava looks like. There's just like this one thin bar. You can go to the streams and watch it. That is what it looks like down there. That's how deep it is. Okay, I'm pretty proud of that. So we have that key card and the flying machine right there all done. Okay, first for this room, before we do the key card, I'm going to install the vault door, which uh, is very big and complicated, but this is, the, this was not Awesome Dude's original design. He used a design from about seven years ago, and the dude made a world download and a tutorial, uh, in video tutorial for it. So I'm going to leave a link. It's the first link in the description. Uh, you can go ahead and follow his tutorial and the block he starts the tutorial on is this one right here. It is the center block of the door. So you should have three on either. So you have seven. So go three in from either side like that and make sure it's in the middle of this. And that is the block where you're going to start the tutorial. Uh, it is completely symmetrical from front to back. Uh, so I will see you once you have followed that tutorial and I'll be right back. All right, I have just come back from following the tutorial myself just to make sure it was, uh, you know, not too difficult to follow, and it was, it was doable. It was not that hard. He has a texture pack on, which makes it a little difficult to see what blocks or what, but if you pay close attention, uh, you should be able to get this whole thing built, and it really isn't actually as bad as it seems. It looks a lot more complicated than it is, actually, uh, and he walks you through every single block. I'd say the biggest thing is making sure you carefully check the repeater ticks. That's what'll mess you up. And make sure you have that block right there, which uh, cuts this off when you're mirroring, mirroring it to the other side. And also, I think, yeah, way down here at the beginning of these two, I messed these up. I had uh, them flipped, and that messed it up for me, so make sure those are good. And really, uh, you shouldn't have that hard of a time. Now, if you followed the tutorial exactly like he did, um, he, he showed you where to put a lever. So, uh, assuming that you followed that, your lever, lever will be up here. So, let's go ahead and test it. And as you can see, just like it opens on the... The prison uh that is perfect now we know that the we need some detailing down here and also i don't know if i mentioned or not but that shroom light down there is missing uh and none of your prison should have gotten in the way while building this so i'm gonna get some polished and some shroom lights obsidian iron okay so a few changes first of all he put some decoration in here so we're gonna put polished blackstone and a shroom light down there and right here so that is what the floor the rest of the floor oh no actually we need to make this and this black stone and this and this black stone so that is what the floor should look like over here we're gonna build a little bit around this with polished there you go make sure you don't break anything behind this wall <laughs> that would not be good oh fix that okay on the top we're gonna fill in uh this t with um black stone good 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 Let's do the top corner blocks and we are going to make an E like this around it with the polished black stone. I don't know why it's randomly replaced, but it just kind of is. I think everything except for like the actual door is replaced. Okay, before you activate your door, real quick, do not activate the door. Uh, because we replaced it, we broke out some dust right here, dust here, and there's a repeater on two ticks on the left side. And on the right side, just uh, put your dust back and one underneath that glowstone block. Uh, and you you should be good with that. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that is how everything works That door is good. So now we need to put it uh, not in this lever But it goes from that lever so we can go ahead and get rid of that Okay, so to do this we're gonna get very picky with where it actually goes. So it's behind here Yeah, that's where line up with your lever uh, And we're gonna go out an extra three so we want three and then two more so three dust repeater right there and dust that's where it'll uh lock it uh let's go down down and down again uh we want to go over five like that uh up one up one again two three four five like this bring this over five and i'm being picky about it because there, there's a lever over there as well uh bring it over and up Okay, so in this corner, there's a lever that activates the door. So bring that over like that, and then a uh, repeater coming out so it doesn't from that redstone block. Okay, and all we have to do now is go down to the side, go down over here, and run this along, connect it with uh, this old point. And if you didn't put this old point for the checking, 
just uh, where you put the lever in the tutorial, just go up one, two, three, four, and over one, like that. So you know, I'll even I'll change it out so we know for a fact that that is where our power is coming into the store. Bring it across. Um, I don't think it'll I don't think it'll reach. So let's put like a yeah, let's put like a, a repeater like right down there. Okay, so let's check. I can flick it. Nope, didn't make it. Okay, so make sure there's like a repeater up here because it looks like it, it didn't reach all the way, so. Uh, that's good. So when we do this, it activates our door and also this this side should activate it too. All right, let's do our key card down here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and like break out this row of blocks. You don't need it. So you throw it right on this block. So below it, I'm going to go ahead and put our hopper minecart. This one doesn't actually like uh, go into the floor. I mean, you can but it'll just push this whole thing up, so shouldn't have done that because we need... I, I did this every single time. We need a hopper facing into that. Oh, and I caught it. She got rid of the rail. Um, I'm going to keep the rail because we. I think it helps line it up. Uh, and we can also put blocks around it. I don't really know if you need to do that, but I like to do it. Uh, okay, so we need to put a block here. We have a dropper facing down. It goes into that one. Okay, have another one going down facing that direction and then we're gonna go down and over so four so we'll have three hoppers going back to the center of that room so we only want two and then the third one will turn this uh this direction like that so let's see we we're gonna go one two three four uh yeah and then get rid of these three these so we need three that go that direction and then we need to turn it back another three so my bad actually actually six so Let's go over this because it was a little wonky. So under the minecart, we have two facing into a dropper going down. We have one going to the right. Then we have two going back. And then uh, uh, four going to the left. And then six going uh, to this wall of the prison. All right. And then we're going to do a dropper facing up diagonal to it. And one more hopper going into the side of that. All right. We have seven droppers here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a hopper coming out of it. Uh, and then we need to sync it up to a hopper that's facing into the wall in front of the button. So let's uh, do this again. We kind of have to go on the wall. There we go. Okay. And we want it coming up from the top and then over. So you link it with that one. Okay, right here, this is where it uh, turns on and off the light and locks our stuff. So let's go three diagonals back there. Comparator coming out of it. Uh, and then we want a torch down here, block the side to lock that. Another one over here, which will lock the flying machine. Uh, and then we'll go over to this wall dust and a repeater to turn on and off the light. There's no books, the light is on. Okay, we're gonna put a uh, glass surrounding this uh, and we're gonna need to put lava in there and cover it back up. All right, I'm gonna actually replace these two with concrete. Uh, do a little 2x2 two two over there, and then another 2x2 two two right there, so we'll have our comparator coming out, uh, a repeater coming out, dust wrap around the side, and repeater back going into it. Alright, let's do our uh, dropper elevator. So starting at the bottom, we'll have a comparator there, and every other one, so there should be four in total. Make sure I don't miss one. Uh, yep, okay, in the front, let's build a line in front of all of them, and let's go ahead and put some in front of the comparators and then on either side of them like that all right now we can put uh torches on the side of these four or right there and then i think we can put our redstone dust on top of all of them okay but up here in the very top we're gonna get rid of this this and this let's add an extra three blocks here a torch on the top and two to the side and one going in there with a comparator coming out the side Okay, hey, next up, let's go down to this corner, build our little L, two diagonals, break out the middle, uh, repeater right there, porch down there, comparator coming out the side, chew dust. Okay, so now that we have this down there, make sure that this one has the same contents we've been doing, and the one below it has an extra book. Alright, now I have a book, let's go ahead and test it. Oh, and by the way, I messed it up the first time, make sure that this hopper is pointing towards the rest of the line because i think i had it pointing down which it won't work so make sure it is facing the rest of the line and you should be good to go so let me throw it in 
and wait a second okay it should go up our chain get sent through and turn off our light good so now i can open and close my door cool let's keep it closed let's take our book back and let's try again and it does not work because it is locked okay that is all good okay we are going to go ahead and start the line over here that sends it to the flying machine which does not exist yet and by the way i think it's about time to say goodbye to our fake floor we put in here uh we are about to install a real flying machine so uh leave the leave the last three blocks by the way we can keep that okay there you go i just wanted to get rid of our flooring here and okay underneath this room let's do some big picture stuff um so let's build a row of obsidian going here now the problem is some of this redstone gets in the way uh but luckily when you're like standing here you can't you can't actually like see unless you go f3 you can kind of see it but that doesn't really matter uh, we're gonna do a row of polished down here and let's add uh four extra rows back here so we want five visible layers of obsidian going all the way across this whole thing down at the bottom so you can basically add four rows everywhere between the cells if you didn't fill in a big floor for this, which I didn't. Okay, so right here, we want to have uh, one, one behind this row, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We want twelve blocks wide right here, and this twelve goes down a total of thirty-seven. So we have one, two... 37 so that is 37 blocks and we are a few blocks under the floor that we created as this room is like the lowest part of the prison so i'm going to set this entire gigantic 12 wide wall a total of 37 so by a total i mean this is row one and 37th is at the bottom there so i'm going to set obsidian like that okay so now we want to leave one two three four five and then place it on the sixth one out. And we are going to make another giant obsidian wall uh, right here until the very end. And by the end, I mean three blocks, these three blocks. So if we extend it over, you'll see. And then above this wall, we want a row of obsidian. Uh, and then the, the rest of the wall will go down an extra block like that, as you can see. So let me extend this row out. So we have that row. So now let me go ahead and... Uh, create this wall that goes all the way down and now we are going to just make a huge wall and now we got to be careful because this wall is a little bit tricky you can't I'm not going to world edit the whole thing because we need to basically keep place as many blocks as possible without covering up any of this redstone so i think i think if we do this that is all that you're going to be able to see once this whole wall is filled in if you can kind of visualize that so that is what you'll be able to see sticking out of the wall, just like the real prison. And now for the rest of the wall, I can world edit it one block past this regular room. I'm also going to cut out uh, our extra floor here. So if I cut that out, we're going down an extra one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so we're going down an extra seven blocks, uh, as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in this wall and the back wall with obsidian. Okay, so let me quickly take you through what we just did. So underneath the wall with the vault, we have one row of obsidian like this, and then it goes back one. And this starting from this block right here to the bottom is 37 in total. I dug out our extra floor that was in the way. This is what this wall should look like, so it doesn't inter interrupt the, the vault. Back here is smooth. There's a row of polished back here. And where there are the small vaults, there is one, two, three, four, five. Five extra blocks underneath that. And this side, we left three rows of this side and that is where this wall drops off so there you go that is this room all right let's start the wiring back here so our lever comes out here two three four five like that we are going to go out three uh a torch or sorry a repeater right there so we lock it one down there we're gonna go down uh two like this and then we're gonna go over four more yep and go up one down one break this one out and we're gonna have a repeater going into that dust going there we want this to go down a total of seven so that is one two three four five six seven now i'm making this very picky about this one oh we need a block here to stop that seven because uh the timing matters a whole lot so extend that seventh one out two more all right then we need to go out five in total two three four five 
All right, and then let's do three more. Let's get ourselves a sticky piston out to put in that corner. And we shouldn't be interfering with anything else, no. Repeater there and there. Put this on full delay. Put a redstone right there. Go out one here. Put this on no delay. And let's place one, two, three, four here. And then we actually have to go back into this wall a little bit just to avoid this. We go seven blocks into the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we can go back down and go all the way until we hit the end of this giant room we made. All the way. All the way. And put redstone dust. And we're going to go all the way across on the other side as well. Okay, next up, we're going to go back where this one dust was between the repeaters. Go down one. And down again. Um, right there, and let's use the obsidian right there. So go down two. Okay, so I made a bit of a mistake here, but we can fix this and also get out some regular pistons. So, uh, this row right here where we jutted it out, we're gonna need to change that. Also, let's make this obsidian here just so it's like blends in with the wall better. Put your dust back. Uh, so this is a full row of regular pistons, and this will update the flying machine at the bottom half. So go all the way across, make this regular pistons. Uh, you can see those are powered, we'll fix that in a second. Okay, so avoid these two from being powered. We are going to swap out these two blocks of the door with slabs. Okay, I don't think that- oh, I didn't break anything. And sorry, we actually need to swap out these two with slabs because of something called- something quasi-connectivity or something. Okay, that is really weird. I don't know, I just had to- I don't know, all I did was break it and replace it and it- they aren't extended anymore. I don't know, that's one of those weird Minecraft things. Okay, so now, we, after this row of pistons, we need to scoot the entire wall back. So, I, I forgot that after that, the stick, or after the re row of regular pistons, it, uh, the wall gets pushed back. So, I'm just gonna uh, click move one time. Okay, and looks like I need to patch uh, my hole, or patch a little sliver in the wall right here. Okay, so it's, it's, the wall's been moved back a block after... The regular pistons okay so now where we come down we're gonna go down and put our redstone dust there we go so now it's sticking out of the wall and we're gonna do 13 in total so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen dust and we'll put obsidian behind this in a second then let's do a repeater all right next up we're gonna do 15 and then a repeater one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen dust Okay, and then put our repeater right here. And 13 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And by the way, this this actually does matter like to the block, or else the timing will be off and your flying machine comes up in a big zigzag. So quadruple check that all these pet measurements are right. Okay, on the back side, we're going to come out where that last one was. And let's do a block up here. And then I'm going to switch back. Uh, that. Let's have ourselves a sticky piston. I put our sticky piston up here, one on top, one to the side, one up here. Have dust right there, and you have to break out that one on the end. And then we'll do a repeater at two ticks. One tick, and then uh, redstone dust up there. Okay, now that we've done this, let's go ahead and make a line of obsidian behind this whole thing. Like this, just so it kind of like looks not so bad from the inside. Okay, I think that's good, and let's let's go ahead and swap that one out and put our dust back. Um, okay, looks nice, looks nice. So let's go over to this repeater, the second one back here. Skip one, and then let's break out four blocks and break out these two. Okay, so let's uh, go up one, or let's place those two of those blocks back, sticky piston, and then the other one back. Uh, put a block up here, a block right there, and then we'll do uh, three ticks right there zero or one tick right there dust there and dust there uh, okay good and i'll make this obsidian i just want it like not so i don't want it to look bad and i'll replace this all with obsidian so from the inside it looks all like obsidian uh, and let's fix our little gap here so let's put one there 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 uh, that one and these two and i think uh, the redstone works uh, yeah let's go ahead and get rid of that one as well okay so that is the back side Okay, so back here, we're going to break out these two, go down one, and then we're going to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, and eleven. Curl it back. 
wait, sorry, we want, we want eight diagonals on the back here, and then we want to go nine, ten, and eleven. So go ahead and put your dust on all of this. All right, after that, we want a torch here to invert it. Two, then we can start going down again, down, down, put dust on all this. Okay, we can go down one, eight, once more, then forward, down that way, down this way, down here. And you know, actually, before I do this, I'm gonna go ahead and remove a bit of a box of space right here. Uh, it doesn't matter how far exactly, but just, just right there give us some more room okay go down here again and one more like that so that I know it looks really weird but after the torch we went out around back to the wall three down and two down in front of that uh, they're gonna have a sticky piston right here with a block on top of it two more out one like that four ticks past that not zero ticks or one I guess and let's go ahead and put blocks on top of all of this so that powers and turns that on Okay, then we are going to have a line of blocks with dust on all of them, uh, on all sides. Let me actually cut out a little bit more space and put my line. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put, I, I put the whole line, cut that out and put a line down. I'm going to put this here so I know about where the power stops. And from that point, I can go out, uh, put redstone, put a block, and extend it over until about here. It does not matter how far here. I'll just tell you how far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I went 14 dust between that and bring it back. So now the whole thing should be, yeah, the whole thing gets powered by that. Okay. Now in front of this, we are going to go ahead and break out a uh, two block tall space in front of this entire, entire wall. And we are going to put, oh, I also need to extend this one block farther oops and i'm going to put redstone repeaters on all of them okay now this is very important uh what we're fine with the spot where you put this and i this does not matter where you put it it just needs to go like where about where it goes out of power so the whole thing is powered uh but where wherever you chose to do it extend this to make this a three tick and all the ones over here need to be three tick and all the ones over there need to be one tick so that it all gets launched at the same time so now when i break this they all should go off at the same time Nice, and when I do it, all at the same time, even though these are at different ticks. Okay, we can put our dust back. Okay, so out here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a full row of sticky pistons, and then we're gonna do um, observers facing out like this with the dots poking out. Now for this final wall, after you fill that whole row in, we need to move the wall back one final time. Okay, so apparently uh, a good amount of my recording, <laughs> I must have, my microphone just stopped working randomly after I pushed that wall back, uh, and I made a little bit of progress before I realized. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through everything I did. I was thinking about just breaking it and replacing it, but uh, this, I, I don't think it's that hard. So I think from this corner circuit, we're gonna go down a block, down another block, forward a block, and then up to the side another block. Put redstone dust on top of that. Put a torch back here. Redstone dust down there. Two blocks down. Put another block here. All right, and then next to it, we want to have a dropper, uh, actually, no, it's a dispenser facing uh, to the room, and then a hopper facing back into it, and then put a block, one single block, into the dispenser, and then we want a comparator coming out of that, and then a repeater right here, and now we're going to do a full line of redstone dust repeaters, and then a row of obsidian, and redstone lamps going all the way across right so line it up with the spot you did up there and we're gonna have to do the same little trick put one there and i think mine is actually offset so just in fear that it won't work i'm going to actually set mine back actually i'm gonna keep the one that was up here i'm gonna keep this one how it is originally and i'm gonna move the other one over so i made it one block shorter and i just am afraid that that will mess it the top and bottom up yeah there we go okay so that is good, and that is good. So, uh, once where you, where you have the repeater, you're gonna need to obviously from here over make this three tick delays all the way across, and this is all one tick delays. And last thing I want to check, I think up here. Yeah, never mind. We're all good. Okay. So next up, I went ahead and put a line of obsidian here. So above the observers, we want to leave a gap of four, and we're one block away from the wall, and just do a line of obsidian all the way down from end to end. And in line with this, go to the other side and leave a gap of one in the wall and do another line of obsidian all the way down. 
and then in the wall on this side do redstone lamps inside the wall all the way down and that is all of the progress that i made when my microphone was not working uh so not too bad and i kind of walked you through the entire thing so hopefully you got it it's yeah, so the bottom is pretty much complete the only thing left i'm going to do is uh put redstone blocks behind all of these redstone lamps okay so the bottom the bottom is done i'm pretty sure all of the setup is there and we're set up here so i think i think it's safe to build our flying machine now wait no there is one more thing let's get out slime blocks and honey blocks and behind this wall we're gonna leave a gap of three and on the fourth one down just do an alternating line of honey and slime all the way across okay we're gonna go ahead and build this flying machine from the vault side door it is very very big and i'm gonna try not to mess it up like i did last time starting with the face like that yes yeah, so the face should be down there which actually activates it i messed that up last time so there you go that's how it should be and you can see that little that triangle right there facing up i'm gonna do a sticky piston here sticky piston down and then let's do honey blocks there and then there 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 okay next we want a observer facing uh the other way we want the face going out like that we want a sticky piston up here now back here we want uh, an observer right there and no that's that's also backwards like that so the face is facing out this way okay just double checking all those three up two up right there i think we want an observer here and here but the face is both looking down we want a sticky piston up here and here okay we're lined up that's that's good okay that is that is everything over there so now we are going to go up to this polished to kind of split in half we're going to put one here and then we're going to put one two three four five six that is the floor we're going to do three honey here and then we actually need uh slime blocks we need one two three four five six seven slime blocks over there which should touch our other obsidian and that is one layer of the flying machine done so now every time you you copy it honey and slime will be inverted like that and then this will be three slime and that'll be seven honey so go ahead and just alternate them every single one until you hit the opposite wall and i will see you when you have that okay ladies and gentlemen after much delay obviously it didn't work so don't i uh, hope they'll put some text up on screen that says don't open your door or else it will break and we don't want that so i put the book in let's go ahead and open up our door so it's not in the way my floor is in the up position right now so let's uh let me move it back down so it's where i built it with you guys so let's bring this down okay so i have a few quick things to mention so go to either end and you see whatever block is the first one so this wall i have is slime uh you want it to be the opposite over here we want it to be honey here so it needs to be the opposite i don't i actually don't remember since i recorded that clip so long ago which one i started i think i started with honey i started with honey so this one here is slime but i might have had this backwards when we built this line i'm not sure but i, I remember how i had to change that when i was doing the fixes because obviously this thing did not work first time so luckily in the fixes the room is the right right dimensions all of that is right uh we should have these observers with their little faces or the dots sticking out here so make sure those are in make sure your two obsidian lines are in i had it built i think i built it right i'm not 100 sure so real quick i am going to bust out this wall and show you guys a side profile of the flying machine so you can copy it like this uh okay so make sure you're paying close attention to where the observers have the triangles facing it needs to be exactly perfect for it to work okay so do all that and you can pause it and then it just alternates honey becomes slime slime becomes honey every other row okay so that that is uh that's good like that so let's uh so let's just redo my wall Qu quick things make sure that your repeaters right here are lined up with the ones down here perfectly lined up make sure you go down the row check all of your repeaters okay this is your checklist before you launch it off and it all breaks and you have to rebuild it this is an annoying one to rebuild without world edit uh, down here, I don't know if this actually matters, but there is a redstone torch right down there. I don't even think it reaches, but it's down there. Make sure you have your one block here, okay? And then you have your computer coming out of that, and your one repeater. Okay, I think all of that's down here. All of this back here was good. These are sticky pistons. That one's pulled back. That one is not. Those two shouldn't be pulled back. Um, we had our torch inverting the signal. 
Let's see, this is all good. So we want this one on full delay as well. Make sure that has full delay. And I think the rest of the cir circuitry, circuitry, circuitry is good. Oh, oh, one thing, one big thing I messed up. I had obsidian right here, which obviously that doesn't work. It needs to be a movable block that you can push up and down, which is why it didn't work the first time for me. So make sure these block <laughs> above is regular block, not obsidian. I was being an idiot and just put obsidian there, uh, which is not what we want at all. Okay, I think that is your checklist. I wish you luck that this works. If it, if you're really struggling, because this is one of the most annoying and difficult things to build in the entire prison, uh, let me know. But it should be working. So if I flick it up, my floor will come up, and you can see kind of like lags. It doesn't all load, which is why it looks like it's ripping apart. But it is not. It's coming up. And with that all being said, I will see you guys in the next video. This is a long one. I think it's over. I'm gonna guess two hours. In five minutes, that's my guess. I don't know. We'll see how close I get when I edit it. Um, in the next video, we will continue, obviously, with this room. Keep it go. This room is kind of like the first room. It's a big mess, and we'll keep it going. Also, channel members, I have some cool stuff coming for you. I have some bonus maps to, sh to show you in a bit. Um, so, stay tuned, uh, and it will be super, super epic. And also, just, uh, just so you know, the guard tunnels are a lot easier <laughs> than what we have to do down here. It's but anyways, I say we are about... 75% done with the entire prison. So thank you all for being super patient with me. Uh, the next one will come out in probably less than a week. I'm just gonna grind out the prison while I'm at it. Also, I want everyone to know I recorded all of this in one day. So like, oh, that was a bit of a grind. And my throat hurts. So goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.